The change gears have been set up for a pitch of 1.75 millimeters. There's a little chart on the cover that shows the relevant gears. I've actually had all of these gears out today, give them a really good scrub, good clean. Still a fair bit of grit in them from when they were manufactured. Here's the little chart on the cover showing the relevant gear combinations. As we can see, I'm looking for 1.75 millimeter pitch which is that right-hand column there, middle row. There is a little thread wheel here, but it's uh, not too reliable. It does stop running, it doesn't always keep in mesh with the lead screw, and uh, only has one gear, so I'm not quite sure how it works. So I'm gonna do the good old-fashioned method of making a cutting pass and then reversing the machine. And as we can hear, the, um, the gear is quite noisy. So I've got a bit of half inch bar in the chuck. I've turned that down to 12 millimeters. I've used the parting off tool to cut a little slot for the tool to run out at the end on. And I've applied some marker pen so I can see on my first scratch cut how it's gonna look. The compound slide is set at just over 60 degrees, so translates to 29 degrees, depending on which way you're looking at it. Uh, what I'll do now is I'll reset the zero on the compound. I will reset the top slide once I've got a scratch. I am running the machine very slow, about 140 RPM. That's a little bit more than a scratch, but never mind. That's a bit better for a zero. Okay. So I've set the zero on the top slide, that is now back on zero. I have the compound slide set to zero, so this should just give me a scratch cut. But once I engage the half nut, I need to keep it engaged. Okay, that's engaged. If I stopped it to engage it. Okay, here's my scratch cut. I'm not sure how easy that's going to be to see on the camera, but that's actually spot on 1.75. So I'll now wind my top slide out, the machine in reverse, and take it back. Stop. Bring the top slide back in to zero. And I'm going to put half a mil cut on the compound, lay it back in forward. Okay, back off the top slide, machine in reverse. Stop, put the top slide back in. another half mil on the compound. Whoops, back into forward. Looking very nice. Stop. Out on the top slide, reverse. Stop, forward. Back in on the top slide. Okay, we'll just keep going now. Half a 
too. I think it's a smaller cut now, 0.025 of a mil on the compound. It is a shame I don't have a non nylock nut. I think that's good to go. I'll run it back down one more time with no cut on it as a cleaner. Okay, just give that a bit of a clean up with the fire. something under the chuck when I'm using Emery, but there we go. was not deep enough. There we go. 